Yeah, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Six Way, aka KK, coming at you guys today with all of my manliness and things of that nature. To bring you guys my newest video, which is of Kelly Rowland's Lay On Me music video makeup. I didn't do it in the video, but I took some liquid liner and I added on her mall. I don't know if it goes right here or right here or right here or right here, but it's on there. Um, whatever. Okay, if you don't want to put it on there, you ain't got to put it on there, but I did, even if I did it wrong. Whatever. Anyway, if <laughs> you want to see how I got this look, and if you like it, please keep on watching. Remember to rate, comment, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, I love you guys, and I will see you guys in my next video. And please don't forget to add me on Facebook. It is K-A-Y-K Bradley on Facebook.com. Um, like I said, once again, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Um, to start off, I found my eye with NYX um, eyeshadow base. And this one is in skin tone. And it's just a skin tone color um, from my lid to my brow. Next, I went in with the ELF C brush, which looks like this. Looks like this. Just a, a shader brush. And I took the bronze blowout, the dark color. This is the Maybelline Eye Studio color, and I just packed it on our lid. And we're not going too much into the crease. This is a very controlled smoke kind of fit. It's not really too far above the crease. Just a little bit. Okay, now that we have that on, as you can see, it's kind of a goldy bronze. It's not really, really dark. Okay? So now that we have that on, I'm going to take um, a blending brush. With the blending brush, I am going to go into a medium brown color, which is Shady Duo from um, Hip, which I use all the time. And we are blending right above that color, the bronze that we just placed on our lid and I'm going to take a little bit more shade that part in just a little bit which will give our nose a slight contour make the dark make the look a little more dark okay next what I did was I took this which is in devious it's the devious duo from hip the top of our C brush and we lined that up just a little bit and to be honest this is what I had at first but I ended up changing a little bit because it was as dark as I wanted it to be so um, now I'm going to take this. I add this at the last minute on the other side, but I'm going to add it now. This is the Gilded Duo from Hip. And I'm taking the dark bronzy color at the top. And I'm packing it over the top of that. Just really, really lightly. And also, I'm taking the same... Oh, you know what? No, I'm not. This is by Maybelline Eye Studio also, so I guess it is the same color, now that I think about it. I'm taking that top color, right here, on a very, very small crease brush. Small. Fucking so retard. Small crease brush, and I'm detailing the crease out of the ear. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Now that we have that placed in, I'm going to take some brown. This is Brown Smolder by CoverGirl. It's a, um, kind of dark brown color on the same blending brush. Now we have this so far. Okay. Um, what I did next was I went into our teared up color. And I'm going to use this very, very, um, like a shimmery white champagne ish color. You can use any type of brush, but this is just a little um, elf brush, I guess. Slanted blending brush, slanted grease brush, slanted shader, whatever the fuck it's called, I don't know. But I'm going to put that right there to highlight. Okay. So, this is where we are. So far. Next, I'm going to take that same detailer brush. I'm going to wipe it off on the napkin that I have right here. And I'm going to take a chocolate brown. This one is by Sonya Kashuk. Um, dip it in, and I'm going to go below the lower lashes with this color. And we're just using this because I really didn't see too much definition on the bottom lashes on Kelly. But I just wanted to even it out a little bit. I just want to leave that completely naked. Naked. <laughs> okay. Um, next, I am going to highlight our... Okay, so well, I'm um, back now. Um, so, I went and I retrieved the highlight color that I always use and it's in the Natural Smoke Spot by Maybelline. And I'm going to also use this color because Kelly's highlight was it was very natural but it had a shame to it. So I'm going to use this brush and I'm going to dip one time into um, the eye studio the lighter color. I'm going to tap off the excess and I'm also going to take that into this because it's very nude but once again it had a sheen to it so See that sheen that I have? Okay. So, now that we've done that, I'm going to... Blend the brown just a little bit. Okay. Smoke is not stop, but I still like it. It's still cute. Okay. So, we have that on. I'm going to freshen this up. And I'm going to go right back into the gilded, the dark bronze color because I want to darken it up just a little bit more. Okay. Just pan it on. Next. Um, Kelly had on liner on the top lid, but it wasn't a liquid liner. It was more of a smudgy liner. So, I'm going to use a pencil. This is Fashion Fair Black Noir Pencil. And it's not very dark, but this is what is going to give us a fade in our background. If that makes any sense. 
think I worded it wrong though. I'm gonna get really close to the lashes and in the inner tear duct. And then and then I'm going to smudge that out. in out. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit of black. I'm using the Femi Couture Black Brown Cake Eyeliner. The black one. The black side. And smudging that up. Okay, so now that we have that smudge, I'm going to go in with a black eyeliner. This one is pretty black, so using this to actually give us some darkness. Some definite darkness. So there we have that. And while I'm at it, I'm also going to line the Bottom waterline. Okay. Now that we have that done, you see where we are. Let's see where we are. Okay. So next, um, what happens next? Lashes. Um, Kelly definitely had lashes on, but I'm not in the mood because I'm just about to get into her and shave this and get all fresh and clean so I'm going to basically take all this off so I'm going to just put on a couple of coats mascara did I say of? I don't think I said of a couple of coats of mascara and I'm just going to use the Colossal Lash Volume Express which I like we're going to do um Couple coats, top and bottom. Um, top and bottom lashes. And then we're going to do our skin. Well, I'm going to finish it up. Okay, for skin, um, I have been loving the Maybelline, yeah, new Maybelline Age for Wine formula. It has um, Goya Berry and an SPF of 25. Gonna use a stippling brush, and this is going all over my face in a very very thin layer down to my neck. This is actually a lighter color. Kelly really didn't seem to have a highlight of any sort. Her face was all one color, basically. No under skin highlighting or lighter powder or concealer, anything that was very noticeable to me. But I have to do things like this. But I'm going to do. Oh God, I'm a dude, so I have to do stuff like this to make me look extra special. <laughs> um, anyways, and I'm going to do my C8 powder, which I always use. This is from L'Oreal C8. I think it's. Um, I've got Soft Stable, Classic Tan, one of those. Okay. Let's go over the highlight just a little bit to make it an even transition. Next, I am going to contour. For my contour, I'm using 
the CoverGirl Queen Collection Breast Powder in Ebony Bronze. You have seen this before. And we have to contour the skin of our faces because Kelly's skinny and we're not. I'm going to take brown bronze bronzer, also by CoverGirl, blend it out. Just like so. And she had on blush. I had to pay close attention. It's like a pinky blush, and for that, I'm going to use this color, which is Petal. It's by Revlon Color Stay. It's a mineral blush, so you can use it um, wet or dry. Use an eyes dry on a very, very small brush. I'm going to put that on the apples of our cheeks and blend out the bronzer and the contour to add a little glow to our face. Mineral bronzers tend to have that effect. Fall out. Damn it. Okay. So now that we have all that taken care of, um, I'm going to go ahead and contour our nose just a little bit. Which I normally don't do, but I'm going to take the bronzer that we just used and I'm going to go down the bridge of our nose and cut it off right at the tip and I'm going to blend that out to make it a little bit more natural I don't know who this is on Facebook I am Okay, so there we have that. And also, since Kelly ha always has a beautiful golden glow to her skin, I'm going to add that with a little bit of gold eyeshadow. We're just going to highlight the face with that. Blend it out and take some down the nose. Keep his bow and chin. For the lips, I already have them on, but she had a bronzy, pinky lip. I am using Copper Charm. This is a Maybelline color. That is on my lips right now. And it was a peachy bronze lip, so I'm going to do a peach lip gloss. Over the top. So, there you guys have it. I hope you liked it. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, and um, if you like the look, please recreate on yourself. It's very far appropriate, and I think that it looks very, very nice. Um, just so you guys can see the look again. <laughs> Thank you, and I will see you guys in my next video.